gotta be a glitch. If we all feel that way. Don't, he, he won't even, honestly, I was like, don't say that. He didn't even respond to me. He didn't say anything. I think he froze. Oh no. We lost no. No. <laughs> you know, like, oh, That was good. That no. was really good. You fucking got it. So. What's up, man? How you doing, man? You know, it's just you and me this time. So we just gonna wrap it up. We had we we sent your buddy off tail because uh, we started talking about flat stuff. So maybe maybe me and you won't touch that. We'll touch something a little bit uh we'll less Let, less scary. Let me ask you something. Now <clears throat> we've known each other for a while, you and I, right? And throughout our time of knowing each other, we've been back and forth with either running into each other here, talking there, Instagram this, Instagram that, whatever. You know, we send each other a lot of things and. You, I gotta say, man. First of all, thank you because you've opened my eyes to a lot of things that I thought I knew about until I watched stuff that you send me. I'm like, wow, I don't know the first fucking thing about it. Now, I, I want to ask you, how do you feel being in a society where you and I would traditionally be labeled a conspiracy theorist of some sort? Like, how does that make you feel? It's life on the fringe. That's what I joke. It's life on the fringe, and. I'm not fully there. I mean, to be tr truthfully honest, <clears throat> you know, living in a lifestyle of, of material, you know, is, is a facade of, 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 of pleasure. And pleasure ultimately would be self-sustainability uh, and independent and, you know, financially, having, you know. Having honor and value in a life. And not not being worried about debt and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, if, I, if, if people didn't have debt, the life of honor definitely would be more prevalent because you wouldn't have people stealing bread to pay uh, to feed their family. You know what I mean? So to yeah. say, I mean, that's a, that's that's the that's the traditional Bible verse of it. Right. You're stealing bread to feel you feed your family. But at the end of the day, people are so screwed they're on food lines they don't know what to do you know yeah so now i agree with you and i think that this materialistic world is just a facade it's something that we go through to get to like our karmatic levels of consciousness to reach the divine right um at the end of the day you know your your mind is the center of divine operation so whatever you think will happen and that's why people say there's things there's like the secret or manifestation stuff like that and i think that the elite or illuminati of this realm are trying to like dull that down to or numb it down to us so that we don't reach that higher level of consciousness and we don't realize who we truly are and it's been done in a lot of things as far as movies and music and symbolism and music is music is is probably the most influential uh thing because like you could find that video uh or there's videos of the sand on on the music plate or there's water what happens right when, water when with the vibrations music. and, and it, it creates can, different images and and look forms. at some of the original instruments that humans have used for making music like a drum right one of the original boom 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 like that was created for war because it would invigorate you right you you they would right. have, even the british had a drummer boop, 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 they had a drummer in the front of their line to intensify kind of, amplify to get your blood pumping get divide get your energy going african tribes boom 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 they'd have the drum to go go for war native americans they had a drum when they did rain dances this was a feeling that would come through your body or your organism and that vibration, depending on right. what the tune is, has a different reaction. So you can play certain music next to each other, next to plants, next to mushrooms, or next to anything that's alive. And like you said, see, sand, water, anything like that. And you'll that see frequency. the difference 
how how that music affects the person. No, they say, oh, listen, pregnant women say, listen to classical music when you're pregnant because it's soothing for the child. Right. And opposed to like heavy metal, like there are studies, you know, that show how beneficial music can be. And then there are studies that show the types of music that we have today, how D uh, beneficial they are. You know, the, the, the frequencies, the channels that some of the newer music is that's being made. It is, does something to the cells in your body that make you feel correct. a certain type of way. Correct. It does something to the cells in your body and, and that alters the serotonins or the different feelings that your brain does, you know, then have. I think that's why in a lot of like yoga classes or spiritual classes or courses that people will take or meditation processes, they listen to a certain um, hertz or gigahertz to help with the whole body calming. Like, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, and they'll hold that sound because that vibration or frequency will help with their body and tuning that's why they have tuning forks and I, such. I appreciate your own I'm just, i'll give you one right back thanks, man and it's true that original sound you could go to the ohm as the original sound as uh what is it uh lam vam ram yam ham bam ohm right and, and even singing classes remember like i don't know if anybody had any vocal training or classes like that you would do la 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 lay 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 Lee, 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 low, 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 low. And you're the each different vowel, may, 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 me, 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 my, 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 my. It, it, it's, it does something to your, your body and it gets you going in terms of how you can operate, you know, yeah. where you're operating from. Um, that's and, why and those are this, I think there's usually seven layers of that, right? That goes with your chakras, if I'm not mistaken. This is the chakras or, or, are key. Uh, yeah. It is very true, and I could send you some more stuff on, even the CIA did some research on the seven chakras on, like, like rubber soles, right? Shoes, every, almost every shoe has a rubber sole, and now rubber is a, a extreme D conductor of electricity, right? And if mm -hmm. we're electric beings, and like we're walking on the ground, or the dirt, or the sand, or the grass, our bodies being electric if like we were barefoot we would be, be connecting into, connecting to the grass right. so now if you put a rubber sole there immediately first chakra your root chakra gone right second chakra right everybody in today's society is like ultimately driven through sex unfortunately like sex is such a highly like sought after thing that people will work it's their become whole devalued yeah, they work their whole jobs all week just to have that moment of, you know what I mean? Like, that's it. You know, like, you just want to have sex. You know, people in the music industry, in the movie industry, young kids, they ideal, ideal, uh, Idol, idealize, idealize. idealize this sexual act. Now that's your second chakra, right? That's your immediately everybody's stopping there, right? But if you can control that thought, that desire, that yearn, that, oh, it's no nut November, that it's been it, it's a joke that releasing this 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 estrogen or the, or the or the testosterone is is so widely accessible like with Pornhub and all this other stuff that obviously it's an attack they want you to release that they don't want you to hold in your prana your energy right, right? but if you can now you control your sexual thoughts you can you're not running around having a bunch of sex with a random bunch of people you're not sitting around beating off everywhere you go and you just wait to have you know sex with one person or whatever and and or who you're a special person you thought about you're doing living your life you're feeling good whatever you can control that what's the next thing your third chakra your your diet your stomach your gut now they're attacking yeah. that because look at the food look at all the food that we're eating yeah, you're, you're right. right. The food you're eating, right? So, boom. If you can eat organic, you have. Let's say you have the money. Let's say you're living sustainable. Let's say you can growing your own food: your potatoes, own tomatoes, time. raspberries. Boom. Walking on the grass, you're you only procreate for say You're having good stuff. You're controlling your diet. Now, what's the next thing? Your heart, right? You now you live. You got to live stress free. You got to not be smoking. You, your lungs, your heart, your chest, all of that. 
if you could control that, then your voice, you're, you have a voice, you have direction in, you know, your root, your, your, your fifth chakra, your throat chakra, right? All that's in line, you're thinking clear. You know what I mean? Your mind is now mm -hmm. going to be open to seeing new things and, and letting new things in, expanding your horizons, understanding, as well as projecting positivity. Yeah, most, most people are conditioned that they have their, their set job, they work their set hours, they, have, they know what they're having for lunch, they know what they're going to wear, you know, that's what I mean. Like you're putting on your shoes, your root, ch your first chakra gone. You know, wow. you're going to go, work, you, you, oh, the, the hot fling you got at work, you're dressed so cute for whatever, who you're going to see at work, whatever. You want to look good, fine. Second chakra, gone. Your diet is going to, you have a sandwich with bread and cheese, starch, gone. Bacon, egg and cheese for morning. You're eating carcass and carcass and starch and, 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 and more pus, cheese, gone, right? Now you're smoking your vape pen on, on the way to work, drinking ice, drinking ice coffee. Drinking ice you know, coffee, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're gone, done, right? Now, by the time you get to work, you have such a crappy job. What voice do you have as a person to actually say what you want to say? You have to sit there, eat crow, and do your fucking job. That's it. Working 40 hours a week under fake lights. It doesn't give the humans, us, our true value of what we're doing here. And then, like you said, on top of it, we have influences all around us, whether it's your peers, your coworkers, your friends, people who listen to what you got to say, but don't hear you, or people who don't believe in what you're saying. And, oh, this person's not going to make it. They're okay. Nah, oh, this guy wants to do a startup. Nah, he's not going to make it. He's not, he doesn't have potential. And then we hear all this stuff through the media through the lies that they tell us through the music industry and subliminal messaging and movies and the whole thing is just it's to in my opinion at least it's just just keep us distracted with this everyday stuff these fancy cars these nice rolexes these armani suits but that's not what really matters because well at the, the end of the day when you die you, you die it's just you it's you in that coffin mm -hmm. but you and all your all your baggage that you had in your heart and in your mind facts you know the reason why they put it out in movies though is because they have to if 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 they're operating on in a game of control like like humility like you could even dave Chappelle touches it briefly where he says they wanted me to put on a dress right and he was like what i'm not putting on a dress and this is years yeah. back yeah 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 this is when martin lawrence was doing big mama's house so they even like that, like we stem from why is it that they want a, a guy of color who's reached a certain level of of money and a certain level of popularity or a certain level of platform where people listen to what he's saying? Why do they want to de demasculine him and put him in a dress? Look at even this thing, how um, backlash for the Kyrie Irving is coming out, how Shaq didn't back him, Charles Oakley didn't back him, and Le LeBron James didn't back him. And then people are saying that he should be backed by these people. But then somebody made the meme where it shows Shaq, o uh, Barkley, and LeBron all in dresses with like wigs on. And it says they're not going to back you because they've already went through the initiation process with that group of people. To get to the next level of to get to that next level, look at Jay Z. You know uh, who was Are we talking, talking about? about? Like enlightened ones, Illuminati. Yeah, the, like the, the okay. enlightened ones where um, you get that next degree of of information. Right. It's all levels okay. of degree of information. You could be, oh, I'm amazed. I'm a third degree. I'm a fourth degree. You're just pushing fucking paper and and being able to call yourself once you get to like 17 18 then they start telling you everything you know is a fucking lie everything you ever grew you they start telling you the shit we're talking about and you got to sit there and listen to them and believe them because they're fucking in the position of power and have the knowledge right you know what i mean they can so, destroy your career in a second in a, in a second and we're seeing it happen because they're in control and when i say they're in control uh media corporations all that shit um, and the reason how it's connected to the music is I just sent you this link for this Solfigio frequencies guy. I right? just opened and, that up. And that, those are the frequencies I like to listen to. Anything that's associated to that uh, Solfigio frequency is three, 396. They got 417. 
Uh, and these are all frequencies eight. to listen to. So you could just go into YouTube and type in 963HZ. Mm -hmm. And it'll just come up hertz. with... Yep. Okay. And 963 hertz is associated with awakening intuition, activating the pineal gland, right? Right. And then so they I'm have gonna... other ones like 741 cleans the cells, remove toxins, detoxifies. So these are real hertz that that ancient that work with your chemical buildup, your DNA and your cells to help do this stuff. It like eradicating these feelings of guilt and shit like that, giving you powers to 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 fuel your goals, removing negative energy and thoughts, behaviors. It, yeah, it's like it's like um if you're if if a dog is living under stressful conditions, right? And you take that dog and you put him in a happy home. It's going to take him a while mm -hmm. to open up, but he's going to start seeing the benefits and feeling the benefits of happiness and loving family. And he's going to in turn become happy and, and start giving the love back. Right. But if you listen to bar with the bar, the bang, the bang, diggy, diggy, chicky, wiggy, you know, you might want to yeah, go slap yeah, a yeah. motherfucker. You yeah. know what I mean? So Yes, I agree with that 100%. Now, here's a question I have. I'm not sure if you'll know or not, but Kanye West's album, 808s and Heartbreaks, right? I listened to it. I thought the album was really good when it came out a long time ago. But what is 808? Do you know what that is? No, actually, I once I found out he sacked his mom, I was a little upset with the Kanye. And, uh, and now he's saying that it. You know, you see the Instagram video floating that he sacked his mom. But I knew when you say sacked his mom, mom meaning sacrificed his mom for his yeah, success. You, there's a right. whole yeah, yeah, thread I've seen of, that of blood sacrifice in hip hop, like Prince, Michael Jackson, Nelly, Eminem, I mean, this is, this Jay -Z, is the part Lady you Gaga. Start about. Yeah, all of them had to get rid of somebody that was close to them, um, to basically for them to be successful. That. Yeah, they all talk about it too. It's fucked um, up. Yeah, you, know? it's, you gotta lose to, to win. Sometimes you gotta lose. You gotta go to the bottoms to get to the top. Yeah. So in a situation like this, now I heard this when I first started to like look into this stuff. So now, all right. So the music industry and like Satanism and sacrificing blood sacrifice. When I first something that really got to me was I think uh, Lady Gaga when she came out in like two thousand nine or whatever. I forgot the name, but she was apparently learning from this artist who I don't remember what her name was but she got Lady Gaga got her style got a lot of her music ideas and um and whatever she uh I guess I will go through her music style from this one other singer who wound up falling off of a roof and dying and she apparently took over that girl's style and became Lady Gaga um same thing that so that I was I will I will say this about Lady Gaga. Um I had the pleasure to uh, again uh this might have been around that time 2000 like you just said 2009 maybe early 10. Uh there was a cafe on Cornelia right behind the IFC in the West Village and she was, she was a waitress. Um, and she was just, she goes, I'm just doing this till my song takes, till my singing career takes off. Like a lot of, you know, young you, you met her? girls would say, I mean, didn't think right. anything of it. Right. Then, oh yeah, cute chick. Yeah, go ahead. Good luck with your singing career. You know, where's my fucking ribeye? Where's my latte? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I forget the name of the cafe, but um, it's on Cornelia. And uh, that was when po then literally within a month, Poker Face took off. Yeah. And and then her song Poker Face hit. And um and the manager was like, you know that fucking waitress fucking quit. Blah 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 blah. So so what I'll say is if somebody did fall off, maybe she needed to fill the shoes and she was of perfect grooming, you know, possibilities for that. A lot of these people are groomed into the positions that they're in. Like let's say the Gomez and the Hannah Montana or whatever, right. like the Disney kids and the fucking all. And, and you see what happened to Britney when they're done with you. What happens? Look at Katy Perry. They're having this video of mental breakdown. Uh-huh. So, so, yeah. 
real quick, I want to get what you're talking about because that's where I was going to lead into it. But the, the lady's name, Lena Morgana, was the one that Lady Gaga and her were working together and shit like that. And there's a theory that like, this, now this is some weird shit. Not, I don't want to say weird shit, but I'm saying it for the other people listening because I do think that there's some dark spiritual shit going on that we don't know about because we can't see it. It's in other realms and we can only see the seven colors through the light realm of what we see. There's other shit going on, dark matter, light matter, gray matter, all Angels, the stuff that's demons. directly in front of us, but we can't see it because we're not part of that realm. So the theory is that Lady Gaga murdered this girl and like took her soul and bodied it and she sold her soul to Satan to become who she is today. And she's in the satanic cult and they do, like you said, either blood sacrifices or they'll they'll do performances at the VMAs, and they'll it'll, it'll be seen, so you never in your seen face. The, the VMA where Jack Black introduces uh, Lady Gaga. I don't think so. Um, there's there's even uh, a chain of videos. I think they're like 10, 15 minutes each. Uh, I'd have to find them because they did a lot to get rid of them. I had a couple of them saved and it's like the 13 secrets of Freemasonry, right? And people will say, oh, they're the Mason. But one of the episodes, I believe it's episode six, and they start talking about music and the music industry and like fusion of species is represented when you see black and white. And you, this this satanic, like you're, you're saying, following the people when they go like this and they put their devil horns the like, up looks like a curse like when they go like this you see all the images with the three with six the circle and the three on three hands CERN, three fingers. right even cern right and that's that their image is literally this um they operate over in, the left eye a lot they operate in that realm they they do everything possible to operate in that realm that you're speaking of because they're aware of it um like when when you say oh she said she sold her soul to the devil maybe not necessarily there's a man on a throne down deep in the underground right but there is a group of people who operate in a dark sadistic manner that people don't know about people won't speak about what bad things will happen this is true they'll decredit them they won't get them any more you know albums or well, movies and shit like well, that they'll dead. die there's no coming back man there's I no mean, coming yeah. back from dead there ain't no coming back from that think about yeah. it too like to, to to throw another artist out of there look at michael jackson i've idolized michael jackson for a long time you know and when i was a kid i loved his music growing up i loved his music what he did for the world it's unfortunate that you know there are certain things said about him we're not going to bring that up but overnight everyone just hated him and he started to speak out when he came out with the uh the this is it tour i think it was in 2009 he was gonna go and blow the lid off this shit he was gonna go and tell everybody what's going on in sony what's going on with these people who are behind the scenes yeah. and they had to put a stop to it so i think that he was murdered you know people think otherwise was. He definitely was. I will say that, let's say you're, it's deep. You know, you see how these contracts that some of these new rappers have, the fucking distribution companies have life insurance policies out on their rappers because that's their investment, right? Mm -hmm. So even they said that the guy who got murked off at the, the Waffle House or whatever, and I mean, I'm not in the industry. I don't know these people. I don't know what they're doing. You know, I don't know their business or nothing like that. But what I can say is there's a whole realm that they're operating under where money and fortune and fame is traded for you do what I say. And if you don't do what I say, you know, there's repercussions to that. Yeah. And sometimes ultimately that leads to any means possible. Of we're going to silence you. Right. So if the label of the Jackson 5, when Michael Jackson came out and Janet Jackson and all the other Jackson kids, you know, somebody had a vested interest in those people because they were right. making a lot of money for somebody. And then Michael Jackson himself is still worth a lot of money. But Michael Jackson memorabilia is worth a lot more when he's dead then he than when he's be in the news as, you know, he's saying he's speaking out against us right 
So, and that's that's prevalent in a lot of of these artists. Uh, there's a there's a whole video that you could watch on the blood sacrifice and hip hop where they start speaking of specifically of like Jennifer Hudson, Nelly, yeah, uh, uh, Jay Z, all these people who had you know their family members you know basically taken out just so that way they can get into this group of people. This is true. Now you mentioned a minute ago about. Uh... Jay-Z and Beyonce and the umbrella video or something like that. I I see a lot of these symbolisms in music videos. For instance, um what's the song? Crazy in Love with Jay-Z and Beyonce, right? In the video, you could see it in the beginning part of the video, Beyonce is like pure woman. They got her dressed in specific clothing. And then throughout the video, her and Jay-Z are singing. She's in a car. Then the car lights on fire and she walks out of the car as a different person, as far as that video being her initiation into the group of whatever you want to call them, Illuminati, whatnot, stuff like that. Jay-Z, um, I don't have a specific time, but Jay-Z's been in it for a minute now. He's apparently the king of it, so they say he's been throwing up the diamond for years. Well, um, it stems from when there was going like what was it, Irv Gotti, Prince P. Like at the end of the 90s, there was a bunch of guys and they wanted to like hip hop guys from the hood and they wanted to get together and they wanted to make a black record label. And, you know, they invited Jay-Z, they invited a lot of these Fat Joe people, uh, Dame Dash, and they were going to do it. The people, well, that was when the whole stop snitching thing came out, right? Remember stop snitching? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. With 50 Cent and all them were around. So that was because somebody snitched on this deal that was going to go down to give a black distribution label the power to like, look what happened to Bill Cosby when he was going to buy the freaking ch TV channel. They don't want that. And then again, they don't want black or minority people to really have the upper hand in anything because of where we stem from we stem from the moist we stem from the tartars and those people had free energy had creativity had big long everything and you can't have power again because now we have the power and i would do everything possible to not let you do power you know what you want a little bit of power you got to put this fucking dress on you gotta put this fucking wig on you gotta say what i want you to say you're gonna be yep. censored a little bit if not we pull the fucking plug and that's what's been going on too. I mean, think about it. You see it too. It's just, it's, it's too much in your face for it to not be true. In almost every single artist that has made it successfully, you'll see pictures of them in Rolling Stones or Fortune 500. They got their devil horns up above their fucking forehead. They're covering their left eye. You know, it's about symbolism. Like you said, well, the left doing... eye comes from Egyptian mythology where, the eye where like, you're not a citizen of Egyptian culture or civilization until your left, the hair above your left eye is cut. Now, if your left eye is covered, you cannot be held, or if you have this lock of hair, you cannot be held accountable for knowledge that you don't possess. Hmm. So, so now when they go like this, and they cover they're their not left held eye. accountable for the knowledge that they don't possess, but they're you know, not yet part of the, that group of higher when, up and when you're like this you've participated in you know you've participated in the which are your, your, your three fingers in front of your eye looking through the circle we've all seen that you know yeah. Eminem was on the cover of something they're all on the cover looking through the eye that's when they do know the knowledge and now they can be held accountable for what they are doing so in a sense, you're covering your eye, you're blind to see it. And then when you're looking through the hole, you're open and you're at that level and you know the knowledge of it. You've participated in some of the acts that these people up there do. Um, and that's what they do. They hold you Stephen accountable. Kubrick, Kubrick and, and you ever see the movies Eyes Wide Shut? Yeah, Stanley Kubrick. So, uh, you know, he was dead before the end of that movie, right? The director? Yeah. And so the final cut of that movie is not... It's not what it's supposed to be. So he was filming that and... They killed him and didn't want the whole message to be to be exposed. Uh huh. And there's even that actress. It was up on uh, the 
social media that she was being taken out of her house in like an ambulance but then they saw her crawling out of the back of a like a stretcher trying to trying to get out of the stretcher uh amy something she was an actress who was going to be putting a documentary together that spoke about uh child trafficking amy adams she was like the redhead girl i think no, she was a blonde she was a blonde lady uh actress so while you look that up vici was in the process of doing a documentary about child trafficking as well and he was apparently poisoned because they said it was an overdose but he had he wasn't involved with doing drugs and shit like that at the point i think he might have had a history of it but he's been clean and he wanted to try to make this production of child trafficking and along with a bunch of other artists and it just gets stopped bro every single time someone tries to put something out there it gets stopped yeah, um, Ashton Kutcher was going to do something. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything from Ashton Kutcher in years, Her dude. name was Anne Hetch. That's who it was. Anne, Anne Hetch. Hetch. Okay, yeah. she played in the uh, the movie Psycho with Vince Vaughn a little uh, while back in like the early, late 90s, I think, early 2000s. Yeah, Anne Hetch. So Anne they Hesch. got video footage of her uh, saying into a, a car crash and then th th it shows that she was basically trying to get out of the ambulance that they had her in. And this is when she was going to release this documentary about the, the child trafficking. Um, and the reason why I feel like some of these actors, like in Ibichi, like you just said, once you get to that level of influence and once you're invited to some of these parties, you're starting to see some of this shit, right? And some people aren't keen on it. Like, let's right. say he was like, nah, I'm not with it. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, he was banging Demi Moore for a while, who, who we have video of making out with underage kids at Christmas parties. You know, Demi Moore was huge into young guys for a very long time. Hmm. And uh, it's just known in Hollywood that, you know, people want that. That's their sexual appetite because you have the money, you have the power, you have the fame, you do what you're told. Right. Now, what else is there? You, you want this so that way you can feel euphoric or outer body experiences when you're having in the ant, the, the you can't even say it right you can't say that the chrome you just call it the chrome uh, of you the know? adrenaline yeah so you know it, it really is a business a billion dollar drug business that won't get spoken about because it's it's happening to people's children it happens all the time dude and it's all connected whether it is the trafficking of the kids or the blood or the youth or the pedophile or all this shit with Epstein Island. This is another thing. I don't want to touch on this because this is a whole separate topic, but with Epstein and uh, Ghislaine, they were charged. Well, he's no longer here because he quote unquote killed himself, but the, who? where's the client list? Where's all the people that were at that island that would the come and list go? Is the flight log. That's you know? the problem. The client list is the flight log. But you can't, people don't want to accept that, that the politicians, that the head execs, that Donald yeah. Trump, that all these people, that's who, that's who is there. And it's wild because like, you know, like you said, you sign and there's been so many other. See what I'm saying? Look, he's dealing to both sides of the table. How many times has the Clinton been there and how many times was Mr. Trump there? Listen, I will say this. Trump did not stopped going. In the beginning, he went a couple times and then he stopped. He's like, nah, 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 nigga. This is too crazy. Right. So Clinton kept going back. He was a fucking fiend. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a there's a lot of these celebrities that try to speak out or try to break the silence, but end up having issues come to them. Like I remember specifically uh right before Whitney Houston died. They said she drowned in her bathtub because she overdosed or something with her lungs. She wasn't able to move or get herself up. But right before that, she handed, I think Brandy was doing a, uh, who the fuck was it? Was it Brandy? Somebody was doing an interview and Whitney Houston was acting kind of crazy on the set. She went over to her, handed her a note. And then later that day, she died or the next day she died. And it's just too crazy of a coincidence that also her daughter Bobby was also tried to die the same way. I think they tried to kill her both. Same thing with like if, if she was if any if they were speaking about it, yeah, the, it's definitely it's definitely something that is not to be spoken about once you're initiated and once you have the full on 
Like, I don't give a fuck. I could be a whistleblower all I want. I was not there. I wasn't at any parties. I don't have any red human leather shoes on my feet. Mm-hmm. Little kids in front of me catching panda eyes. You can Google every one of those things. I just rattled yeah. out because it's all associated to the freaking Pope's clothes, to Disney's clothes, to Disney clothes, to the Disney um, has all this symbology, like you just said. It's about symbols. And that's their language. That's their language. It's, it's subliminal thing. messaging. To let you know if and if you operate, if you operate on that level of tuning or degree, you can pick up the symbol. But if you're blind and you can't see it or you're just not aware of it, then you got that over your eye and you're not Mm -hmm. accountable for what you don't know. You're just gonna be do do do, you know, walking around. It's wild, man. A lot of these people that's so that's how it's all connected because. When we say it's all connected, why is how how does hip hop music have to do with Pizzagate and what the fuck does Pizzagate have to do with Flatter? You know what I mean? But it literally, once you get into how it got there, where we are, how we got here today, the people that know we're here don't want you to know where we are. And they just want you to go about your business make some babies so that way they can kidnap them babies and then have them fucking exploited in the pizza gate <clears throat> produce 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 and produce, produce produce and consume that's it they want obedient worker bees george carlin was one of his last stand-ups wasn't really about trying to make people laugh but trying to really open up people's eyes yeah and unfortunately he passed away but he knew exactly what was going on and even till this day it's like People won't really understand what maybe you and I are trying to talk to our friends about or our people about or what George what about Collins Robin Williams. What if I told you Robin Williams? Robin Williams, same thing. You, you know? know, he was loved by a lot of people. He was in the industry for a lot of while and he had a very big liking to kids. And towards the end of his career, he was going to come out as well. Look at Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. His, his once he retired and once he passed the torch to LeBron, he thought that he could take his money and affect the inner communities and help <clears> inner <throat> cities. And they don't want that. No, do not help more than we have helped you. Do not take what we have given you and go feed others because we could have fed them ourselves. And you could take all the people who have any billions of dollars and you could fix every country in the world. You could take the clothes out of the Macy's on 34th Street and put everybody in a fucking suit in India, a billion people. And still have clothes and shoes left over. But they don't want to do it because no, no profit. You gotta in buy. It. You gotta buy. They robbed every look at COVID. Every Walmart, every Best Buy, every Target, every whatever got robbed of everything on the shelves when COVID happened and ransacked by everybody all over the place. And they restocked it. Simple. Easy as no that. No problem. But what happened to the small mom? What happened shops? to the small businesses? Exactly. What happens yep. to our hardware store or your local diner or your, you know, anything that was ran by day to day business, you and me interacting with human beings that are normal, like us, just in your neighborhood, you got to go. You ain't part of the biggest system, part of the great reset that they're going to do. It's scary, man. I'm telling you, this next upcoming couple of years for these kids the music that they listen to now, it it's so fucked up because it's all about like popping pills and look at this other song, I, uh, I want to kill myself or I forgot the name of the rapper, but he's like, I want to die, I just want to die. UCJ or something, right? Something like that. Lil Nas X, bro, you seen his music videos about him I, going That's insane. the one I wanted. I didn't, I didn't really know so much of the other one, but the Lil Nas X video where he's going down the stripper pole onto the devil's lap. <laughs> You know, that is the agenda, you know? Bro, if that's not blatant in your face, what the fuck? What the fuck? Nobody else sees this shit? I mean, look at Doja Cat, right? Doja Cat in a lot of her videos has a lot of interspecies. Right. Little uh, animals, uh, creatures and shit. Katy Perry and and what's her face did the, uh, Kanye West did the extraterrestrial ET. ET. Uh Uh-huh. So they are telling you, these things exist, but in a manner where you'll brush it off because it's entertainment. That's right. It's a movie. It's a music. It's entertainment. It's not real, you know, but meanwhile, they're telling you, Hey, look, what's going on, you know, and they're, they're privy to this information. They operate at a higher degree and they could rub it in your face for entertainment and for profit. 
So profit because they got to build their their way out. You know, they got to prepare for what's coming next, which is make sure they got all these secret ops, secret bases, secret everything that when the shit hits the fan and when they hit the reset button, everybody else goes, but they'll be able to they'll be able to ride it out. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's two other things I'd like to talk about. <clears throat> One of them that you mentioned a little bit early before. Um, a lot of it has to do with the VMAs and they'll, they'll, they will put it in your face because it's entertainment. But for them, it's a ritual or mm. it's, you know, it's an induction. So I can tell you probably since 2008 on that every single VMA or Grammys or whatever live music performance there has been some type of ritual or some type of showing of Satan or the upcoming or the control or MK Ultra and shit yeah. like that of these artists. And I don't even watch them anymore. They get so sick. Dude, I just want to see the. It's so blatant. Like the, the outfits they wear. It's just yes. like, it's, it's, it's like meat, meat suits and, yep. and blood and this and that. And it's because they're promoting themselves what what it is they like to get into on the, on, on the, the deep level. So if right. you're at the degree, if you're at this show, you know, this person, Katy Perry did Panda eyes, put black around their eyes. They're going to have a party with a bunch of babies, ba- little tiny little babies at their house. Mm-hmm. Chris, oh, Jennifer Aniston and, and, and them could joke about pizza. They're literally on the, on, all of them joke about pizza, Ellen DeGeneres. But you could go on to the FBI website and go to put in pizza and find out that it's a code word for fucking kid shit. Children, yeah. You got well, like the like the emails got what bunch of bunch of pizza, hot dogs, even our former president, pizza and hot dogs being Biden joking. and Clinton. Yeah, talking about ice cream, what flavor ice cream they like. Come on, man. Sure, we if you can't read it because you can't see it, you it don't affect. You're blinded you. to oh, it. They're talking about. I love pizza. I love hot dogs too. But you don't fucking know that these people are using codes to talk about missing people. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> shit, they shouldn't be talking about. Yeah, shit and that I shouldn't be talking about. <laughs> weed, right. So during these, I guess, events and stuff like that that they have, it's usually annually to kind of i would say to like bring forth the next generation or bring up the new ones the newcomers and introduce introduce them to this new level of stuff like i was mentioned before about jay-z and beyonce beyonce was beyonce you you think of beyonce from 2005 and and earlier you think of destiny's child Child. Uh yeah you know Think about it. She was a churchgoer. She sang for her choir. She was all about that shit. And then she meets and Jay-Z. Then her hair, and then her best friend slash hairdresser mm-hmm. was, was in, a, in, a, in an incident and he was killed. Now she's solo artist Beyonce. A.K.A. Sasha Fierce with a mm-hmm. secondary personality. You see, so, I think well, somebody told me one of her newer album covers is her on the white horse. A Manly Palmer Hall book behold a white horse could be i'm not sure i didn't see that one but i wouldn't doubt it i wouldn't and she's sitting on she uh, there let me what's the name of the album cover she's got she's a, what's how you spell her name beyonce album oh yeah this one what's this called i don't know why my images new album cover that's another thing dude they wear all these horns and it just it depicts the devil so much renaissance and is that what it is beyonce's renaissance that's the name of her new album she's sitting on a she's sitting on a, a white horse is and, that the new one and then like we were you were talking bible quotes before there's four horse the four horsemen the four horsemen of the apocalypse yep huh so if she's if she is like and it says it in the bible too i mean i don't want to get too much on uh, in biblical terms but that like a woman will have like like the woman's voice is it, it, it says something about when she i forget i don't want to get too much into it but it's now it's now you see this woman who has so much money power fortune and fame is on a horse but her voice is so demonic in a sense because you have these little girls mm-hmm. like you said she used to be nice and church going but now you see her half naked dancing shaking a booty yeah and that's the message that some of the younger generation is getting Especially what uh, the whole m- m- movement now that uh, Nicki Minaj with her wet ass uh, pool. Yeah, pool. that wop. Uh huh. So 
uh, they're not going to give her a Grammy for that. That's disgusting, right? But she feels like she should be entitled to it because she's doing everything they say. She's pissing somebody off. Yep. And so uh, that was actually it's a good lead into my next uh, my next question. I had the second topic was about MK Ultra. <clears throat> are you familiar with MK Ultra? I'm sure you are. You've heard of it or something. I'm, I could I could I could dabble. Dabble. Okay. So it's basically mind control. And no, I know I know I know that much. But I mean, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and tell you as much of MK Ultra than I would say I know about fucking something else. Okay. So a lot of it, I think, has to do with them brainwashing these people and then having them expose themselves, whether it's like, all right, so for instance, Katy Perry had, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, a seizure on stage or something like that, mm-hmm. she, or blank stares. It's like their mind resets. Same, same kind of shit happened to Wendy Williams, though. Yes, yes so and and what's funny is i just put in the mk ultra here and this kind of fits in that time frame that we were talking about before look at it says it began in 53 so remember we were talking about 45 to 58 yeah the end of world war ii yeah into the the start of the antarctic treaty Mm -hmm. look this began in 53 so that's right in the same scope of the roswell the uh operation paperclip and the installation of these bases over there a lot of the times i feel like these people who will become artists do it because they want to sing they want to get their voice out there you know they they're either writing good music or they have a good voice and they want to project it they want to share with the world and then and then, not, and then they don't know exactly what they're signing up for right and once they, you do then it's too late yes and then you know you're think right. about it like this. Think about remember when uh, Madonna kissed Christina Aguilera and then she kissed Britney or vice versa, whatever the case was. Mm-hmm. That was Madonna, the queen of Illuminati, I would say, going from you're no longer needed, here's the new one. And what happened? Uh-huh. Britney Spears went crazy and they locked her up in her fucking house. She wasn't able to touch her money. She's, you know, they label her. And they, they put it out there as far as like, she's gone nuts. Oh, she's gone crazy. She's a quack. She's a wackadoo because they just want to discredit them. Look at Kanye West now, like you said, going over this shit. First of all, anybody who does anything with the Kardashians just goes crazy on their own. But uh-huh. to deal with all that shit, look at everything that's happening. And it, it's part of the Illuminati card game, dude. MK Ultra is there brainwashing. Brainwashing, it is- yeah. That card game, look, that whole card game itself, uh, the Illuminati card game, if you really want to, you, we, there's a whole nother episode itself, but let's say CERN or HARP or CERN itself, right? Let's say you're able to manipulate time, right? And if I could send you back with just one little object, like that movie Deja Vu, right? With uh, Denzel Washington, where he goes yeah. back with like, a piece of paper, you could just take one little thing. What if it was that deck of card and and that has all the information in it that you need if you can see through it? Yeah. And now this is all you got to to try to save us. That would be a fucking wild ride. Wild ride. That'd be but a MK wild Ultra, ride. I mean, yeah, people need to wake up because they were testing that shit. The, our tax dollars went into that. The MK Ultra studies, they were doping these people up with all types of drugs and seeing what would happen. They even have some of the the recordings and of the of the interviews of those people who say that they traveled somewhere, you know, subconsciously and were yep. able to get exact coordinates and exact details of locations that they could have never been that match up exactly what it is. Basically, they did and did that travel from inside of a room on fucking psychedelics. Because you they put you in like a uh, sensory deprivation tank. And you don't know where the fuck you really are. It's just your mind. Inside your mind, you could go anywhere. There's a really cool movie from like the 70s. It's called Altered States. And then they used to do studies in colleges with uh, those tanks really? on acid. And fucking they stopped them because people were like, like, I mean, this movie is crazy. Because like the guy was having outer body uh, reptilian sexual experiences. You would really like it. Uh, it's called Altered States from the 70s. And he goes in this tank and he's submerged in this thing and he's he's he believes he's in this tank but when he goes outside these acts actually happen really he doesn't remember 
Blue Demon, yeah. Okay, I just um, looked it up. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. 1980. Oh, it's ended. Okay. Listen, man, I might, I might have to cut out. Let's call it, dude. Yo, I appreciate you coming out. Thank you again. And uh, this is a lot, man. It's a lot to know about the people who aren't too understanding of it. Hopefully they do get some kind of understanding of it through what we're trying to say or just even opening up people's eyes. You know, that's it. That's to, it. To, you just got to start thinking critically, man. That critical thinking on and question, like you said before, when we might not be experts, but just we're, we're fucking sitting here questioning. To bring this back up, before we go what i asked you in the very beginning was how you felt about when people call you a conspiracy theorist and whatnot and for a while i'd say my rabbit hole st i started digging this rabbit hole 2007 2008 it was small stuff and that things didn't really catch my eye or i didn't just want to listen to what i was being told so i started to dig and i started to watch i started to check out I want to say for like three years, I was just doing back-to-back -back videos, trying to figure this out, trying to figure that out, doing my own research. 2009 until about 2015, 16, I had, was in a serious relationship. She was like, yo, you're going crazy. You got to chill. So I chilled on it for a bit, but I really, I cared what other people said and thought about it. And when I would talk to my friends like, bro, you're nuts. I'm like, nah, you're right. You're right. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking around because I was like insecure about it. But now in this day and age where I'm seeing all this stuff come to fruition, I have like-minded people. I'm not trying to convince, I don't think you're trying to convince anyone a certain way or not way. It's just a matter of waking people up and thinking for yourself. You know, look through, look past, read between the lines and see what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, like you said, I'm not, you guys invited me out here, you know, to, 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 to chat a little bit about some topics and you're right. I don't need to convince anybody. I mean, I'm totally up for any, any discussion there is, you know, I that's mean, it. that's it. I, I like like-minded people, people who think for themselves. If somebody came to me with something and was like, yo, let me show you this real quick. And even though I was programmed to think one way, I would be like, you know what? Let me hear what you got to say. Yeah. Let me see this open mind. Yeah. We're, uh, we're sitting here philosophizing. Uh... That's it. <laughs> philosophizing <laughs> we no. philosophizes we're a uh, fucking investigative uh in journal and in, in, yeah we're they don't have that. that anymore they're they're banning us to, no to gather together journalism no um you know that's it all right man well thank you very much for coming out here i appreciate you all right peace and love brother peace and love to everyone listening thank you for the likes listening shares and follows we appreciate your support and uh, if you have any questions, you ever want to hear something, any topic at all, we're more than happy to talk about it. Chop it up. That's it. You guys have a good one. Thank you very much.